Mike Lindsley back with you in ML Sports Take, brought to you by Stanley Law Offices and Brewerton Ace Hardware. Rafael Nadal, spectacular, wins his 21st Grand Slam. He now stands alone with a victory over Medvedev here uh, this morning on our time, of course. It was past 1 o'clock in the morning, Aussie time. And you think about the career. It's, it's pretty damn remarkable. I mean, this guy has faced probably the most injuries of the top three, I would say by far than Djokovic. And certainly I think he would have more than Federer. You look at his match up with Federer head to head. He owns Roger. Uh, you could make an argument for, for Nadal certainly being the GOAT uh, right now. Uh, the most grand slams uh, is basically one of the reasons why we've never seen a guy with the ground stroke play like Rafael Nadal. And he was down two sets today to Medvedev. He comes back all the way. Uh, they went blow for blow in that fifth set. It was absolutely unbelievable tennis. And, you know, now we have to have conversations, right? I mean, can Nadal now, and remember, he just had a surgery 15 months ago. Can Nadal now come through and win, you know, two, three, four grand slams now that he's this healthy? God, did he look healthy in this Aussie Open. I don't know how these guys do it, especially uh, winning at a championship level. I mean, it's one thing to come back and play tennis, but to go through the brackets and go through, you know, another time zone and battle your body and then battle an opponent over and over and over again. It's just mind boggling to me with these guys, but maybe Nadal now can put a couple on uh, more on his resume. we got the French Open coming up. He'll be favored there. He wins that. Let's say Joker doesn't. Now all of a sudden it's two separation type of a thing. I think a lot of people would say that Roger Federer isn't going to win a Grand Slam again. I don't like to doubt him. I don't like to doubt hit people like him or Tiger Woods or whatever the case may be, but it does look unlikely compared to Nadal continuing to pile things on. So just a total kudos to Rafael Nadal. 21 Grand Slams. He's stands alone. He's number one all time. Certainly arguable uh, to say that he's the GOAT. I think I might still have Federer by a little smidge, and I understand the head-to-head -head situation, but I think you, you look at the overall body of work and the amount of tournaments uh, th that Federer has won multiple times on multiple services, but this Australian Open with Nadal, uh, now he becomes uh, one of the very rare players in tennis history to win on that surface, all the Grand Slam services. Twice, minimum. So that's a pretty good thing there for Nadal to throw on the old resume. He's such a class act, such an amazing player. Med Medvedev is going to be around for a long time as well. He's probably waiting for Nadal and Joker and Federer to get the hell out of here so we can start winning some majors. But these guys are such great competitors. They're so respectful to each other and to the sport. And uh, Rafael and Nadal, uh, you know, uh, uh, tipping the cap to Medvedev. Medvedev doing the same thing to Nadal. Uh, he was actually quite funny in his post-game press conference to the crowd, uh, you know, joking about about how his wife is his biggest supporter, but uh, she probably isn't watching right now because the TV was broken by now. Uh, was pretty good stuff. But, uh, you know, look, it's about Rafa. He's a tremendous player. He's an all-time great. He's arguably the GOAT right now. Uh, never have seen a player of his conditioning, uh, you know, go side to side uh, along the baseline. The ground stroke play, uh, you know, the 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 serve volley game isn't really his his deal. Uh, his, his deal is just absolutely grinding it out, baseline type player. I thought Agassi, I didn't know if anybody could ever be as good as Agassi in my lifetime. Rafael Nadal certainly is the best now. Mike Lindsley here with you. It's an ML Sports Take brought to you by Barks and Rec Doggy Daycare, Welch and Company Jewelers, and our good friends at Rosie's Corner. Stop by if you're in and around Central New York this week for all the comfort food, meatloaf Monday, turkey slop Tuesday, chicken and biscuit Wednesday, and your mac and cheese and fry, uh, fish on Thursdays and Fridays. So as I always tell you, enjoy the games.